Hello, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. Today we are going to uh, learn how to continue working with statistical data and to calculate the useful calculations, the core calculations that are just mostly needed when viewing any statistical data set. Typically you'll be interested in the mean value, the average value. A lot of times you'll, you'll want to know the median, sometimes you'll want to know the standard deviation, sometimes you'll want to know a few other things. And so the calculator has some really neat built-in functions to do all of this stuff with, with just a few button clicks. So let's go ahead and take care of uh, learning how to do that. Let's go into the apps menu, up to the data matrix editor, hit enter. And for the purposes of what we're doing now, let's go ahead and just create a new data set. Let's call it uh, B. You can name it something descriptive if you like. I don't really care, so I'm going to put B. So I have a blank slate. So again, I want to go back to the analogy of grades because uh, when we calculate average values of grades, it's something most students can really wrap their brains around and really understand. So let's just go ahead and type a bunch of grades in here. 52, 53, these are really bad grades. We've got some 70s, some 75, a couple 75s maybe. Got a couple of 80s here, got a couple of... 89s get into the higher grades. We've got several students in the 90s. This class is very good, right? Lots of good studiers, students. And we've got, uh, let's say, 200 people, or two people, I should say, that got a perfect score 100 on the test. So 16 students and just random grades, grades I'm just typing in off the top of my head. All right, now we want to analyze this. So we could graph them, obviously. We can do a histogram. We can do lots of things, but I just want to know what's the average value without actually adding them up and dividing by 16 or whatever. And I want to also learn the standard deviation. And maybe there's some other things that I want to learn too. So like I said, the calculator has a lot of capabilities to do this. So when you're looking at your data, you have to be looking at your data. If you wanted to plot it, you would go to Plot Setup. If you want to calculate stuff, you have to go to the Calculate menu. So you have to hit F5. And you're presented with uh, basically a calculational screen. Now, I've only got one variable there. I've only got one set of data. So you need to go to one variable, right? And it's going to basically change the screen. If you have more than one column, you can go to two variable, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But for now, the Y values are X'd out. The uh, first set of data is the only data we have that's labeling that data X, and so it, it wants to know where that is, just like the plotting. So we put column one, just like you might expect, and we hit enter. Don't worry about the frequency and categories. Everything else is grayed out. It's just doing all of the calculations in one variable, which when I mean by one variable, I mean one column, one set of data that's called X. It's in column one. So we hit enter, and once we do that, we have a nice set of information that pops up. It's all done for you, and it's almost instantaneous.